activity here at Hillsdale de Monte uh, by the police chief of San Mateo, Susan Mannheimer, and or somebody with the school district to give us more information about what happened, perhaps more information on the subject, uh, on the suspect. Reporting live in San Mateo, Craig Debro, KTVU Channel 2 News. Let's go over to Jade Hernandez now, who is at Abbott Middle School with more. Jade. Well, Craig, it didn't take long for rumors to spread. In fact, students immediately called or texted their parents to tell them what was going on. The next thing parents knew is that they faced traffic and long lines right here at Abbott Middle School to pick up their son or daughter. Everyone had their cell phones out and was getting a hold of someone. It didn't take long for the news of a pipe bomb explosion to spread. I heard that a person that was a graduate from Hillsdale had let off a pipe bomb and had thrown it down the hallway. And what I supposedly heard from him is that he had a chainsaw, a machete, a bomb on him. And for parents to pour back into the neighborhood to pick up their student. It was pretty difficult, but uh, when we saw the lineup on Hillsdale, my sister Candy turned the whole thing around and we went to the back side and we were able to get in easily. Actually, my sister is a teacher and she called me ahead of time and told me the school was being evacuated. And then I got the automated message at work. These parents snaked around Abbott Middle School just down the street from Hillsdale High School. Cars backed up as parents waited as patiently as they could to pick up their teenager. We've heard Columbine and all that, but not in our area. And Hillsdale's a very safe school. So, and we're in a great neighborhood. So it scared us. It really scared us. All of us have to have a school safety plan that includes all types of emergencies. And one piece of your safety plan is some place that you're going to go to evacuate. So each of us has a variety of different sites that we would choose to take children so that they would be safe. But there's still a lot of questions this afternoon, like why didn't the high school post any of its updates on its website, and what time was the phone tree actually activated? This afternoon, Abbott Middle School is actually still in session, and there's a press conference that is scheduled straight at noon, so it should be going on right now to answer some of those questions that we have this afternoon. Reporting live, Jade Hernandez, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, thank you, Jade. And we're going to be monitoring the situation. If that news conference starts that Craig was in front of, we'll go to that. Also, more information on our website, ktvu.com. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jade. Thank you, Sal. Topping our news today, Hillsdale High School in San Mateo will remain closed today following yesterday's terrifying attack. A former student is under arrest after showing up at school armed with pipe bombs, a sword, and a chainsaw. KTV's Craig Debro is at the suspect's home now with an update on the investigation. Craig? Hey, good morning, Pam. The ATF spent most of yesterday at the 70-year-old boy's home looking for more evidence and more pipe bombs. They did not say what they find, what they found here yesterday, or whether or not they'd be back this morning. There is one missing piece of evidence to yesterday's frightening and potentially deadly attack. Why? What motive did the teenager have for his actions? The 17-year-old lived in this San Mateo apartment complex with his mother and sister. According to district records, though, the teenager didn't attend any San Mateo public school in the past year, but he did go to Hillsdale High at one point. His neighbors didn't seem to know that, and one didn't even know the pipe bomb suspect lived here. He just pretty much kept at home. He did, really didn't come out. I had no idea. I've lived here for a year and have no idea that he even lived there. We're not releasing the name of the suspect because he's a juvenile, but police arrested the boy yesterday morning. They say he came to Hillsdale High School yesterday morning around 8 with 10 pipe bombs strapped to his body. Police say the teenager detonated two of them in a hallway, but also was carrying a chainsaw and a two-foot-long sword. Nobody was hurt. Police evacuated the school following, following the incident so they could uh, better search for other explosives. Police now have the unidentified teen at Juvenile Hall prosecuted have not decided on whether to charge the 17-year-old as an adult or as a juvenile. Uh, coming up, more reaction from shocked neighbors. A heavily armed teenager is living next door, and no one here seemed to know it. Reporting live from San Mateo, Craig Debro, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, thank you, Craig. We're going to continue to follow the school explosion story with live reports from San Mateo throughout the morning. You can also get information by going to our Channel 2 website. That's KTVU.com. Your time now, 502. We've got a little bit naughty. Every Tuesday, when you work for Chef Life Beck, get ready for a recipe for drama. How can you mess up your job? It's so easy. Uh, that was a personal conversation. Don't have it on my foot. And an appetite for fun. This is the closest I've been to sex in weeks. Or that. From details. Good afternoon, Craig. Cool. 
Table 2 News. All right, thank you, Jade. We are also learning more about the 17-year-old suspect in the school attack. KTV's Craig Debro has been following that part of the story and joins us now with details. Good afternoon, Craig. Good afternoon, Tori. All is quiet in the neighborhood where the 17-year-old lived with a couple of family members. Nobody's been at their apartment all morning long, at least since we've been here. This afternoon, we've learned that the San Mateo Police Department is going to refer six potential charges against the teenager to the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office. They hope to do that by this afternoon. Meantime, the teenager is in custody at the Hillcrest Detention Center here in San Mateo County, but it'll be up to the District Attorney's Office to determine whether he's charged as a juvenile or as an adult. These are very serious charges. We take any incidents happening upon a school grounds very seriously. Police say the teenager, who we are not identifying right now because he is a juvenile, was taken into custody after detonating two pipe bombs. Police say both were detonated in a hallway at Hillsdale High School yesterday morning. 1,200 students were attending classes at the time. No one was hurt. The 17-year-old had eight more pipe bombs strapped to his body. Police say he was also carrying a chainsaw and a two-foot-long sword. Following the arrest, police served a search warrant at an apartment where the boy lived with his mother and sister. And we did find materials consistent with uh, constructing dev devices to explode. The teenager now faces six serious charges, attempted murder, use of bombs to, with intent to murder, possession of a bomb, possession of a bomb on school grounds, possession of a bomb with intent to injure. If you saw him, he just looked one of those high school guys and that's it. All the neighbors we spoke with said the same thing. The 17-year-old is quiet. Many didn't even know he lived here. Their reaction to having someone live here who was making bombs was also similar. I got worried, you know, because I have, actually, we're, we have four little kids here at home. Police told me this afternoon that they are finished with searching the teenager's home here in San Mateo. Uh, the whereabouts of his mother and sister are not known. He is being held at that juvenile detention center. And again, the DA's office is going to decide whether or not he is charged as a juvenile or as an adult. We mentioned nobody was injured in the blast. Uh, but you heard Jade mention there's going to be counselors at the school when students finally return to Hill, Hills, uh, Hillsdale High School. Reporting live in San Mateo, Craig Debro, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, thank you, Craig. You can also get information about the incident at Hillsdale High School by going to our Channel 2 website, ktvu.com. You can also... The suspect in the pipe bomb attack at Hillsdale High in San Mateo made his first court appearance today. If convicted, the 17-year-old could be sentenced to life in prison, but he would have the possibility of parole. As KTVU's Rita Williams reports, the court appearance comes on the same day that Hillsdale students return to class. It was supposed to be a return to normalcy at Hillsdale High School today, but the day was anything but normal. The first day back after a former student, police say, tried to blow up the school and kill some of its teachers and students. Really what we're going to look for right away is how students are processing it and whether they're feeling safe and uh, how we can then address the needs of individual students. While some students were talking to counselors at school this afternoon, nine miles south of here at the San Mateo County Courthouse. Good afternoon, sir. Is your true name Alexander Robert Ushock? Alex Ushock, eight months shy of his 18th birthday, was in court, learning he would be tried as an adult. His court-appointed attorney opposed having cameras in court. That could be detrimental to his ability to obtain fair trial, fair trial or possibly any trial in this county. Um, as a parade of publicity has been rather significant. But citing the severity of the crimes and high public interest, Judge Mark Forkham denied the request. Ushok is charged with eight felonies. One, explosion of a device as an act of terrorism, is being charged for the first time in this county. He's also charged with the attempted murder of chemistry teacher Megan Spaulding. Sources say was an intended target. And school security aide Jonah Torres, whose sources say happened to be near one of the bombs when it exploded. Torres told me today she could not talk.
talk about the case. Ushok's mother, sister, and father sat in the front row and declined to comment afterwards. The teenager with bruises on his face was shackled at the waist and his right arm was in a cast. The prosecutor said Ushok was injured when he was detained by teachers at school after detonating two of his 10 pipe bombs. At this point, we have every reason to believe that uh, Mr. Ushok is certainly sane and certainly competent. Back at Hillsdale this afternoon, everyone seemed relieved that this day finally was over. I didn't want to walk by myself at all, even when my hallways were full, like I always had my friends with me. And tomorrow, I hope tomorrow's better. Alex Ushok will be back here in court a week from today to enter a plea to all the charges against him. Until then, he'll be held without bail in Juvenile Hall. In Redwood City, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Governor Schwarzenegger took a swipe today at the State Assembly.